So, um, well, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, in some ways, um, I, I wasn't speaking with Laura beforehand, and so I didn't hear um, that girl from Belgium's request for newborn screening. And, uh, and so I'm going to be giving a presentation at, at a point during this uh, this particular session, and um, and and I actually deleted some of the slides that um, that might have been relevant from her perspective. But look, we've got a 20 minute session to discuss all of this at the end, and uh, and I'm sure it'll come up again. And if it doesn't, we can we can make it come up again because this is a, an interactive session. So. Um, so welcome to the newborn screening session. I think it's uh, fundamental. Newborn screening in Europe is fundamental to... Uh, to uh, 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 okay. I just got a nasty feedback there. I'm okay? Am I okay? Somebody... Yes, you okay. okay. yes, yes, it's better. It's better. Okay. Okay, thank you. I just got a... a, a a loop there. So I think this is fundamental. Newborn screening is absolutely fundamental to what to where we go and how we, we go forward, but that's just a personal thing. Um I'll preface this by saying that we had and I'll be mentioning it in my talk that in um in two thousand and sixteen um led actually and promoted by Stefan Lobitz of um of uh, Berlin at that time, he's since moved, um, he got together a panel of experts um, and very kindly invited me as well um, to talk about newborn screening and we brought forward a consensus document um, and, and that document is, um, is I think, a, a worthwhile document and really I think we hope would form the basis of a, a discussion and a debate um, in the European Parliament, um, and and the the, the the money the money people in Europe to try and facilitate newborn screening. So, without further ado, now I and I know that some people couldn't make this um, their presentations, and um, so do help me on this, folks. Um, who who's our first speaker now? I think if 